Lucy Fraser's appearance on Laura Newsberg's television programme on Sunday raises the questions about whether or not she's actually doing a reasonable job as the Secretary of State for Digital Culture, Media and Sport, or Culture, Media and Sport, whatever she's doing now, or whatever she says she's doing now. Actually, all she seems to be doing is waving the banner for the Conservative Party. She's doing the job, really, of the Vice Chairman of the Conservative Party. I don't see what her appearance on Laura Newsberg's show had to do with culture, di digital culture, media and sport. Absolutely nothing. And so far, what has she done with that ministry? Well, she's produced a bill uh, which is going to be wheeled out, and it's, it, it is so ill thought out. Um, one of the aspects of the bill is it's going to persuade, it's, it's going to demand that uh, a number of broadcasters um, are curtailed by the impartiality regulations which curtail what the BBC does. And this seems completely botched. Netflix, for example, would be severely restricted. And should, should, these, should these ad hoc um, decisions be made simply by the Secretary of State for digital media, culture and sport, who doesn't seem particularly interested in getting on with her job. I don't fully understand. The same sort of uh, ill-thought-out, but perhaps well-intentioned uh, directives underpin the online safety, uh, the online child safety, the online safety bill, which was wheeled out by, and first by Nadine Dorries and subsequently by other people like uh, Michelle Donnellan. The Digital Culture, Media and Sport Ministry is full of good intentions and extremely limp when it comes to practical applications. So we can look back to the reality TV nonsense, which in fact enshrines in its regulations everything that will keep the reality TV production companies happy and nothing that really looks after the contributors who uh, are put through hell, frankly, for entertainment purposes. And very little is done, in fact, to protect them. The trope of uh, psychiatry and fame is wheeled out a great deal. But very little is there for people who suffer post-traumatic stress syndrome as a result of being um, on these programmes and indeed who uh, have to deal with problems well after the 18 months remit for care has expired. The digital culture, media and sport needs a serious review and it needs to be led by somebody who is genuinely dedicated to uh, the subject and and is prepared to give their time to that rather than see it as a uh, launch pad for what becoming chairman of the conservative party or something oliver dowden nadine dorries michelle donnellan lucy fraser oh matt hancock was once in charge of this ridiculous ministry it's not a ministry that seems to have um been given the attention it deserves. <clears throat> As Brexit advances, we have to recognise that we are no longer a nation that does great manufacturing. We're no longer digging up coal and uh, metals and trading and such things. Our oil is diminished. But we are nevertheless hitting well above um, our level on in, in, in the media. We're doing terribly well when it comes to television, theatre and film. And yet we are serviced so badly by government secretaries of state. So badly. And we have every opportunity to lead the world if we had somebody who gave it their time and was focused on what they were doing. 
Lucy Fraser demonstrated adroitly on Sunday that she is not focused on the job in hand. She's focused on her ambitions in the Conservative Party. Well, that's great, but surrender the job to somebody who wants to do it.